Hey folks, welcome back. Did I click the right button? Yes. Hey folks, welcome back. So, our character can run, she can jump, she has some base stats. Now let's start working on some pickups. So, for this one, well, this will be a little mini series. Don't go over the interaction and inventory system. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be using the Infinity Blade props and Infinity Blade weapons. So, these are the ones we're going to use over the next couple videos, which are free. Just go to the marketplace on the Epic Game Store, just type in Infinity Blade in the right there, or you can use whatever you want to use for your weapons and item bags and stuff like that. And let's get started on an interaction system. So in the Blueprints folder, I'm going to right click and create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Interaction System. Now, some of this might seem a little bit complicated, but once you get it, it'll be like glue you'll get it no problem so I'm gonna right click and the first thing I want to create under blueprints is an enumeration now an enumeration is basically just a list uh, it can be names it can be stats and all kinds of stuff this one is going to be called item names underscore e and this is just going to be a list of all the names of all the... That phone never goes off until I hit record, I swear. So this is just going to be a list of all the items that we'll have. So I'm just going to add a bunch. And the first one is going to be health, potion, let's see, mana, potion, Let's see. We'll maybe do some food or something, I guess. Uh, let's see. Health potion, mana potion. Let's see. Rusted sword. Iron sword. Wood shield and iron shield, I guess. And we'll just do those those for now. So now we will right click and create one more enumeration. And this one will be item type underscore E. Oh. My OCD is going to freak out if I don't make that a capital E, I swear. Alright. Whoa. I don't know why it do. What the hell? Failed to load. What the fuck? I ain't done. Okay. I um <laughs> item type underscore e. There it is. Okay. I don't know what that was about. But we're gonna roll with it. Alright, so this one's gonna be an item type. <laughs> and so let's see, we'll have health uh health items, mana items, um sword shield I think uh, quest item crafting item oh and one more that's just gonna be a blank alright so so the first one will say none this one will be health item, mana item, sword, shield, Q, 
key item. And then the last one, what did I say? Oh, crafting. So like resources. All right, so the item names will be basically all the items that you'll have in the game. The item type is the type of items you'll have in the game. So we'll right click one more time and we're going to create what is called a structure. Now structure is basically when you have a lot of blueprint actors in your game that are going to use the same kind of variables like a, like say you got a, a an item, like an inventory system like we're doing. All your items would have like an item name, a, a picture for your menu, uh, you could add like a weight to the item if you wanted to, uh, like a price, all, all that kind of stuff. So this was, you can basically create all the variables one time and then apply them to whatever you want to make. So I'm going to create the structure. This is going to be the item info underscore s. And I'm going to open that up and it'll automatically have a variable but I'm going to set this first variable to be item class which we're, we don't have the item class just yet so we're just gonna leave that a boolean for right this second we're gonna create add a new variable and this one's gonna be item name which is going to be a text new variable item image which is going to be a texture 2D. So you have to scroll down a little bit, texture 2D object reference. And then you'll see it's got all those textures right there. A new variable. Our inventory system is going to be stackable. So um, this will be uh, what's in the current stack, which this will be an integer. The next one, also integer, will be the max stack. So basically, how many you're holding, how many of that particular item you can hold. Uh, the new variable, also an integer, will be item index. Let me just, one second, real quick. Let me get that loading for a second. So item index be the integer. All right, while that's loading, we'll continue. No, get back on this. Item index, and then we will need, ah, the item type. So for this one, it'll be that item type enumerator that we made. Okay, let me just take a look at something real quick. Inventory system, item info. All right, so we got the class, name, image, current stack, max stack, the item type, item in potency, price, and sell value, okay. So the item type, which we will set up here to be that item type enumerator, if it'll go. Please don't crash, please don't crash. Oh, okay. New variable will be potency, which is if we have a sword, this is how much damage that sword is. Uh, if we have a shield, it's how resistant the shield is, how much health the potion, each po uh, health potion restores. Um, it, you know, that, all that. This one is going to be a float. We'll add a new variable. I know this is a lot of variables. This one is going to be the price. So when we get around to adding it into shop menus, this will be how much it costs, which is an integer. And then one last one that will be the set cell value. So just to go over real quick, we'll have the item class, which will be the class of the item, the item name, the picture for our menu, how many we're holding, how many we can hold, 
the item index, which would be basically which position it's in in our inventory. The item type, which you'll see it's got all those that we set up. The potency, which will be the strength of the item, how much health it restores, how much damage it does, etc. The cost and how much we can sell it for. So we will save all this. Now in order to get that item class, let's right click and create a blueprint class of an actor. This will be our base interactable. So base interactable underscore BP. So this will be what we establish all our core values on and then we'll create children blueprints of it in order to make all the items in our game. So I'm going to double click and open this up. Now when you're creating a base class of something you want to think about what do all these things have in common so every item in the game we're going to want to have a static mesh to represent the item in the field so that'll be the item and we're just gonna default that to the treasure bag right here that comes with Uh, the infinity blade assets now around that we are going to need a sphere collision actually do we really we'll put the sphere collision around the player yeah so we'll just have the item and then we will under the variables we'll add item info so this will be the item info struct that we made and then you'll see we right over here once we compile now we have all of those variables that we made and as we create child blueprint classes of this we'll have all those that we can just automatically apply. Now one thing we also need to add not not, not here, not here, uh, the variables is the item name. Now this will be that item name enumerator that we set up. That way when we go through it'll automatically pull all the item info from a thing that we're about to set up. So back out here, we're going to right click. Now this one is under, actually, I don't know, let's, let's make an entire video based specifically on that. So let's go back into the item structure. Now under item class, we want to find that base interactable and make it a class reference. So now you'll see we'd be able to, there's that base interactable. Now if I create a child of this, call it health potion and then I go back into that structure and now you'll see I got both of those that I can use so it's just a, a quicker way of being able to find the item that you're looking for so with all that set up in the next one we will start talking about a data table which is something that will hold all of the item info in our game Make sure I got all of them. So, item class, yeah, item name. Okay. All right. Just checking my notes real quick. Making sure I don't send you down the wrong. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. We. Never mind. I'll leave it. But. In the next one, we'll start talking about the data table to where we can start inputting all the info for all of our items that we just set up. Alright, so I will see you all in the next one. Bye!